not one, not two, but five new fields. That's what Cleveland Browns owners Dee and Jimmy Haslam pledged to CMSD's Senate League teams. They made the big announcement at First Energy Stadium, joined by Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson, District CEO Eric Gordon, and plenty of our student athletes cheering as they unveiled the plan for this multi-million dollar makeover. We were there and spoke with CMSD officials about what this means for not just the district, but the whole community. Well, the Cleveland Browns have reached out into the community and taken a great look at what is needed, and they want to make your experience as a student athlete in the city of Cleveland a very, very special, special experience. And they are doing that with today's great announcement and the facilities that are going to be made available to you all. The voice of the Browns, Jim Donovan, getting the crowd pumped up and the CMSD Athletics Commissioner downright giddy over these new gridirons. I am just on cloud nine. I am just so thrilled. But more than that, it's just to see the look on the, on the student athletes' faces. They are so excited. Like Glenville football and track athlete Demarius Goodwin, who spoke at the press event. Sports have impacted my life in many ways. Sports keeps me motivated to have good grades. Well, it feels great to find out that we have like new fields. and To me, getting new fields, it means that people are actually caring about what's going on in the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. They definitely are. Dee Haslam said this is one of the most exciting things they've done in Cleveland so far. This is kind of maybe one of my favorite days ever in Cleveland uh, to make this announce announcement. But in, in the fall, that's when we're really going to be excited because we want to come out and see you play. So we're looking, we're counting the days, we're waiting to see you out there to play and to spend time with you out on, on those new fields. Two of the fields will be ready for football this fall. JFK's Roy Kittfield and James Ford Rhodes Field. Two others, John Adams and John Marshall, are slated for renovation in 2017. And the timeline for Bump Taylor Field, located at Patrick Henry School, is still being finalized. All of the fields will get a much needed upgrade to high quality synthetic turf. Our fields are old. They needed a lot of update. Uh, a lot of our kids play in the mud and the grime and everything else. We've had to cancel games because some of our fields just weren't playable. And now next year, they'll all be playable. Playable not just for football, but also for other sports like soccer and lacrosse. Plus, Cleveland's Muni League, CMSD physical education classes, and the entire community will be able to use and enjoy the fields for years to come. The best part of these fields is it adds to our desire to be a community partner. It makes our another community asset available um, in five locations across the city where youth uh, teams can play, where other sports can play, where adults can walk tracks. Uh, and this is another community investment that makes our schools a bigger essential part of the community. It's also an essential part of academics. The CEO made it clear that athletics help keep students in school and on track to graduation. Students have higher grades, less absenteeism, fewer discipline referrals, a stronger internal locus of control, self-management, self, uh, and better odds of aspiring to and completing college education than those who do not get to participate in athletics and extracurricular programs. The research is so clear on the relationship between students' participation in athletics and other extracurricular activities and increases in enrollment, attendance, academic achievement, college-going culture, persistence, all the things we want for young people. Getting a boost in attendance and for the coach a boost in their game and overall morale. Oh, great turf make you go fast, <laughs> you know, so, you know, with, with the turf, you know, with the kids will be, be excited to, to get on the field, you know. And we got some hope now, you know, <laughs> that we can move forward and be just as good as anybody else because of the facilities. All 10 Senate League high school teams will share the fields. Work has already begun at Roy Kidd and Rhodes. Construction will start soon at those two locations and we'll be covering the progress over the summer. For more stories like this, visit clevelandmetroschools.org news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.